When you see a piece of Banks' work, you think stenciled rats, you think Shoreditch, you think bold political slogans, humorous catchphrases. So when Startle TV heard the work by the infamous urban artist was being displayed here at the Andipa Gallery in Knightsbridge, well, we had to come and investigate. Artists who have previously graced Andipa's walls include modern art luminaires such as Pablo Picasso, Andy Warhol and David Hockney. Banksy, the anonymous street scribbler believed to be from Bristol, now joins that list with 20 original works on canvas, steel and palette and 40 signed prints which are all available to buy. How does Banks' work sit compared to the other artists that you've had here? Well, I think it sits very well because there, there have always been two outputs to, to, to his work. The first being the street work, which should ultimately stay on the street, and uh, the studio works, which have always been meant for commercial sale. And do they both have that anarchic streak? Are they anarchic? Uh, are they poignant? Are they humorous? Are they present-day sort of punch magazine? It's up to the individual to make their own interpretation. <laughs> Banksy devotees will recognise many of the pieces, the rats, a girl with a balloon, which have popped up in streets all over London, as well as some of his cheeky juxtapositions, Lennon on roller skates, and of course the Hogarth-esque portrait, sabotaged by a custard pie. Who steps through the door? Who buys Banks's work? Everybody's stepping in through our door, especially when we have our open door policy as we do, so, which is uh, always very welcoming. So we get lots of, uh, lots of kids, lots of students uh, coming in, um, right the way up to the sort of classic 85-year-old American collector um, with his own little private museum annexed in the grounds of his, uh, of his property, and, you know, and, and they buy. And the bottom line, what's a Banksy going to cost you? <laughs> uh, well, nowadays the originals on the canvas, the spray paints, in other words, they'd probably start in the region of about twenty-five thousand pounds and up, and seriously up, up yeah. to uh, uh, to a million pounds now. Really? Yes. And the signed limited edition prints, um, they will start in the region of about four thousand pounds. Okay, so that's a little bit more affordable. A little bit more affordable. It's all relative, of course. <laughs> Taking centre stage is a bastardised version of Edward Hopper's Nighthawks, entitled Are You Using That Chair? Measuring over four metres in length, it's the largest work by Banksy to come onto the market. You drive around and see other graffiti artists and think, there's the next Banksy. If there is enough individual reference there to, to actually identify the artist and then try and track him or her down, then uh, for sure. I mean, there's some great talents on, on the street and uh, it's always been acceptable for them to come into the, into the gallery. We're kind of making this that this is, uh, this is new or is it a sellout, uh, you know, the artists do that, but we only need to cast our minds to Keith Haring, Basquiat, as prime examples of that. As you can see, Banks' distinctive images lose none of their impact in an art gallery setting. But don't expect him to turn his back on his natural habitat, the streets, just yet.